What's next for Zoom? For a look inside the company's future, we're talking with one of their top executives, Chief Product Officer Smita Hashim. Smita, welcome. Smita, tell us, what will AI let us do on Zoom in the future that we can't already do today? In the future and even now, in the last few weeks, we have added a lot of capabilities. Generative AI has changed the landscape on the kind of possibilities we can offer to our users. And our product there is the Zoom AI companion, is a generative AI assistant, which we have added capabilities to multiple parts of the Zoom platform and we're expanding in many other places. So as an example, Zoom meetings, now you don't have to take notes anymore. We have this amazingly high quality, accurate Zoom meeting summary, so you can really focus on the meeting. You miss a few minutes of the meeting, no problem. You can ask what happened, you can catch yourself up, lose attention for a few minutes. You can even ask, was my name mentioned? Zoom team chat, you can compose chats, you can summarize if I'm out of office, I can come back and see all the threads I was tagged in and I can summarize. A whiteboard, you can generate whiteboards so you don't have that empty whiteboard block. So we have these capabilities already. It gives you a flavor of the kind of capabilities we have added, but a lot more are coming. What else is coming? We'll be bringing it to other parts of the platform, like our events platform. You will be able to respond really fast to lobby chats. You'll be able to compose invitations, our phones. You'll be able to summarize phone calls using generative AI. You will be able to extract action items from that. You know, so many phones Calls are really like very, you know, people want to get a lot done. Oftentimes they're with external collaborators. We will also be connecting our product. So if you can ask what happened with this account over the last few days or the last month. And at that point, it will be able to scan through your content, whether it's Zoom meetings, whether it's your chats, it will be able to give you that information so you can be much more productive. Um, so at Zoom, our approach is we have launched the first set of features. Uh, we are loving the customer feedback and we are getting really good response. So, and we have a set of things we want to build more of, but we also listen to the customer feedback and we are super responsive to that. How are you thinking about, or are you even thinking about the metaverse these days and meetings in that? Or has that concept really lost steam at this point? Um, uh, you're you're calling in from Silicon Valley, from San Jose. Um, yeah. uh, what are your thoughts about that broadly? I I love, I, I'm, I'm basically like really excited about metaverse, if you will, or like augmented reality and virtual reality. Um, you know, we were very honored that we were part of Apple's named partners at WWDC event, which they did. Um, and, you know, when they talked about their products, uh, the, including Vision Pro product, you know, and we are also working with other partners um, as well on it. I really feel like the possibilities that are going to be open with these modern generation, next generation of AR, VR um, hardware and, and, the, and the kind of like just the beauty of this hardware, how much it can do, it's really amazing. And I feel like we are just kind of starting on that, but I love the idea of having these, and I do think it will happen. It's ha it happened more and more where we will feel even more connected through these experiences in ways that keeps us, uh, that, that helps us connect better as humans, and it feels like a completely different experience. So stay tuned. It's a space which we are very excited about, and I hope we'll be, you know, I hope together with the partners we'll be start you'll be able to, our customers and our users will be able to start touching some of these things over the next few months. That's the perfect note to end on. Thank you so much, Mita. Thank you.